Hey friends, welcome to Cooksap. I hope all of you are doing good. So this is a video about how to reduce excess salt in our dishes. So I think all of us have faced that problem. So I decided to do a video on it on different options on how to reduce salt. So the first option that you have is to boil a peeled potato with the dish. The dish that has too much salt, you can either add a fully peeled potato or you can cut it into half and then add it to the dish. Boil it for 2 to 3 minutes and then you can remove the potato from the dish. This will absorb the excess salt. This is the first option that you have. The second option is similarly you can add a peeled onion into the dish and this onion will also absorb the excess salt boil it for 2 to 3 minutes and then you can remove the whole onion from the dish this is the second option that we have next i am talking about dishes that in which we can add uh, coconut milk like kurmas and all so in dishes that allow coconut milk you can add half a cup of thin coconut milk and boil it for 2 to 3 minutes in low flame to reduce the excess salt of a dish like in stew kurma and all you can add coconut milk to reduce the excess salt next is the option where you can add uh, curd like uh, saw dishes like uh, in kerala we have certain dishes that uh, need sawness so in such dishes if the salt is you feel the salt is a little bit more high you can add a teaspoon of curd or buttermilk to it to reduce the salt the next option we have is malai or cream so in certain north indian makhani dishes we add cream or malai to it so in case you in such dishes you feel that salt is a little bit more high you can add a tablespoon or a two to three tablespoons more of malai to reduce the salt so the next option uh, is like uh, the chinese dishes which allow corn flour so in chinese manchurian and all like the soya sauce has salt so in case we add a little bit more salt and you feel the salt is more high you can add 1 tablespoon of uh, corn flour to a little bit more water and add the slurry to the mixture to reduce the salt and the next is in south indian dishes you can add a tablespoon of gram flour to 1/4 cup of water and add that mixture into the dish to reduce the salt content because in south indian dishes since we add dal and all this won't bring much of a taste difference to the dish the next option is dishes which allow the addition of vinegar like in even such manjurians and all in which we add vinegar you can add a tablespoon of vinegar and sugar mix this lari and you can add it to the mixture to reduce the salt this is a very good combination in dishes that allow vinegar and so these are the options that i have so do hit the subscribe button if you liked it thanks for watching